Don't get your broccoli in a bunch. Hi everyone and welcome back to Saucy Times with Allison McDee. I have another delicious sauce for you to try this week and broccoli can only mean one thing, cheese sauce. This was one of my favorite sauces when I was a kid, especially because I love cheese. This cheese sauce is thick and creamy and delicious. It's the only way that I will eat my vegetables. That's not true, but it makes them better. Oh. Okay, <laughs> let's get cooking. For this recipe, you're going to need the trusty old pot, butter, flour, milk, salt and pepper, and cheese. That's right, it's getting cheesy in here. If you were a burger at McDonald's, you'd be the McGorgeous. So to start off, we're going to take two tablespoons of butter. Remember the tub of butter? Mm. All done! With the butter, not the sauce. When the butter has melted, we're going to put in two tablespoons of flour. Now, mix the flour and the butter together. It's going to be a little bit pasty, but that is totally okay. Is your name Campbell because you're mm-mm good? The sauce isn't cheesy yet, but I am. Let the flour and the butter cook together, and while that's happening, you can pour one cup of milk. Now, if you like your sauce a little bit more runny, you can add about a cup and a half of milk, but I like it a little thicker, so we're just going to put one... We're just going to put in one cup of milk. You're so gorgeous, you're out of this world, even more beautiful than the Milky Way. Now add the milk. Once you've added the milk, cook it over low heat until it gets thicker. Don't forget to keep stirring. It's a good workout for your wrist. While we're waiting, let's make it even more cheesy in here. Do you know karate? Because your body's kicking. I must be a snowflake because I have fallen for you. If you were a laser, you'd be set on stunning. It's a good thing I have my library card because I am checking you Okay, now our sauce is nice and thick and creamy. It's time to add the cheese. Now you can turn off the burner. Mm. You can take your cheese grater. I got this one at Ikea for about five dollars. It's my favorite. And take your cheese and grate about one cup. Take your cheese and make your sauce as cheesy as you are. Mm. And there you have it, folks. Cheese sauce to put all over your vegetables. I dare you to try this cheesy pickup sauce and those cheesy pickup lines. If you do, please leave me a comment and tell me how it went. Until next time, everyone, this has been Saucy Times with Allison McDee. I'll see you next time.